breaking news out of Sherman Oaks after a gunman opened fire at a bar shooting three people. It all happened at the Woodman Bar on Ventura Boulevard. And that's where KCAL 9's Joy Benedict is live with the latest on this investigation. And Joy, you've been talking about it's the third Sunday in a row where you've been covering gun violence. Yeah, gun violence in a very public place, Amy, which is, of course, very startling to folks who live here in this community. And this morning, on this particular day, we are here in Sherman Oaks at the base of the valley where that's exactly what happened. Gunfire rang out at a very popular sports bar. I want to step out of the way so you can see where I am right now. I'm in front of the Woodman on Ventura Boulevard. You can see we have a lot of um, uh, broken bottles, broken glass on the ground, and, of course, some debris as the police department shut off this area very early this morning when the bar was still open. Take a look at the video from a few hours ago. It was about 1.30 in the morning. We are told that for whatever reason, gunfire rang out outside the bar. Some of those, I'm, I'm told a stray bullet may have gone inside the Woodman at the time. That three people were shot outside here. We are told one person is in custody this morning, but they are still investigating this particular shooting. But this is not the first shooting we have been talking about. I mean, crime has been on the minds and the conversations of the Los Angeles Police Department throughout the pandemic. We are told year to date there have been more than 450 shootings. Certainly alarming numbers. That is more than a 70 percent increase. And quite frankly, in information that made members of the police commission gasp earlier this week when police chief Michael Moore explained to them that what was going on. But what we're focused on is and what we're always focused most primarily is our violent crime uh, instances where the increase in numbers of victim shots 445 victim shot year to date versus 257 last year. Yeah. That's 188 wow. additional shooting victims which is a 73% increase. Certainly very hard to hear and take a look at these numbers that I just got from the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office when it comes to homicides in previous years, year to date, as we have had. I mean, if you look at just the increases, there was a 200 person increase in homicides from 2019 to 2020 with 200 more people killed and on 2021 we are on track to surpass that number once again so that just talks just gives you a few numbers to try and explain how dangerous and how deadly this year has been for so many on the streets it's not just this neighborhood or that neighborhood it is every neighborhood in Los Angeles County that is seeing an increase in this type of crime and it's something certainly all law enforcement agencies throughout the area want to try and Curb. But as for this particular shooting, certainly a very frightening situation for so many who were out here. We were told this is a this is a sports bar and grill. It's one that I've been to many times, Amy. And there was a game playing last night or a fight last night, I should say, that had a big crowd in here. And of course, that's all before the gunfire rang out at about 1:30 this morning. So certainly a very alarming situation and something that police want to try and cut down. I'll send it back to you. All right, Joy. Thank you.